I believe that hunting is the future, and um, I believe that the shooting sports definitely will encourage students to get out and, um, and, and do some hunting. Uh, I think once they learn the firearm safety and the safety, how to use a gun, uh, the shooting clays, and I think eventually they'll want to get out there and actually uh, go dove hunting and, and, and shoot some dove or uh, different things. My favorite thing about this program is uh, we come from a really big high school. It's almost like a mini college. And I always had a hard time finding people with common interests as me. But through this club, I found you know a whole lot of people, even some people I'd never thought would even consider picking up a gun. Another great part about the program is it helps develop sportsmanship. I mean, you got all this competition, you get competitive, but you always remember to give a pat on the back or good job to your teammates. I've learned that you need a lot of concentration and so that helps with schoolwork. You know, you gotta be on time, you gotta make sure you're there, and you've gotta do all of your work. Over the last few years, we've probably seen the most amount of growth uh, in this class to clay target program that we've seen uh, in, in quite some time. Uh, just a couple short years ago, our program was around the five, 6,000 range. This year, we are, pushing, we are over 10,000 athletes uh, in our program, which is a huge growth, as you can tell. Well, the pistol program uh, is brand new. Uh, I believe they have over 100 athletes uh, at this competition for pistol. Uh, again, it's their, basically their first big full-blown national championships for pistol and it's gone over real well. I think they're doing great. Uh, a lot of excited kids, you know, uh, shooting that and uh, we're happy to have it part of our program. I always enjoyed coaching uh, the girls. They listen, which was, <laughs> don't tell the team that, but uh, the, uh, the, the girls listened more and, and what was fun is that the girls did do better because they listened, they had nothing to prove, you know, the guys got out there, you know, like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm this, I'm that, but the girls really jumped in and got involved and uh, we have some fantastic young ladies uh, competing and doing very well. For any of you young gals that are out there, I would say go for it. It is such a wonderful thing uh, such a wonderful opportunity. When I was a kid, they weren't doing all of these wonderful things. I wish they had been doing this when I was in school. Now you have such an opportunity, and when you get equipment that fits you correctly, you get coaching to help you, you're just going to enjoy it, and it's going to be wonderful. Coming to the uh, national championships in Sparta, Illinois, here at the World Shooting and Recreation Complex, just pulling up to the facility and go, wow, you know, it's got its own water tower, it's, it's its own place, it's its own thing. A lot of the teams, when they come here, a lot of them actually come in and uh, do and camp right here. They stay here, it's a family vacation, it, it's where they, what they do, and they stay right here for the entire time. And, and from the time they pull in to the time they leave, it, it's an event. This is their national championships. They are here to win a national title, compete against the best, uh, which is really exciting. It's a lot of fun. Uh, they get their team packets, their goodie bags. Every athlete gets a national uh, championship t-shirt, uh, which you'll see a lot of them walking around wearing. So you see right away the, the excitement and, and the things they get. Uh, to being inside right here, a lot of them come over and see the trophies that you see behind me here. Uh, we have a lot of different games going on. Across the street here we have Crazy Quail, so if you guys had a chance to go over there and see that, that is just a hoot. Uh, the kids can hardly drive by there without wanting to go out there and shoot the Crazy Quail, so that's a lot of fun. And, uh, we have raffles back here. As they play these different games, they get raffle tickets. Uh, you'll see that we got raffles over here set up with everything from industry items that we give away to firearms, uh, different guns, things like that. They may not be the best shooter, but by gosh, they might have won a raffle. So uh, again, just a feeling of being part of something is, is the big thing there. You know, without the volunteers in our program, we wouldn't have a program, okay? 
this program is about our volunteers, our coaches. Okay, our coaches volunteer their time. Okay, they're out there working with the athletes. They're out there uh, spending time in practices all season. Our state advisors help oversee that and set up their state championships. This program wouldn't work without these people, and, and we love them, every one of them. We have a terrific set of people here at the Sparta Complex supporting us, and then we have a terrific group of industry sponsors who we could not do this without. They contribute time, money, product. They're here all week with us on the, on the venue. One of the things that we have heard is that, uh, boy, if my son or my daughter wouldn't have gotten involved with the Scholastic Clay Target Program, I'm afraid of where they'd be right now, okay? They would have went down the wrong path. They were hanging out with the wrong, uh, wrong kids. You know, we're, we're certainly uh, happy that we had, got our son or daughter involved with the Scholastic Clay Target Program um, and, and what it's done for us. It's brought us together as a family, uh, you know, so we get a lot of that, and uh, that's what it's all about. It is a wonderful way for the youth at an early age to develop themselves as people, to learn responsibility, to learn the great times they can have with guns uh, in a hunting environment, in a sports shooting environment, in a recreational environment. Safety is a very important aspect of our program. It's an important aspect of how we train and certify our coaches. All of the teams have to be under the tutelage and under the guidance of a certified coach, so safety is paramount. It just teaches these kids how to become great young adults and great Americans. We have wonderful sponsorship from Larry and Brenda Potterfield at Midway USA and the Midway Foundation. And one of their main motivations, because of the way they grew up and the way they enjoy hunting and fishing and being in the outdoors and having the freedom to do that, is they want people to understand and they want the kids to understand their Second Amendment rights, what they should be able to enjoy as Americans and, and to be able to know that that's there for them. And they are going to be our leaders of the future. They're going to be voters. They're gonna be attuned to what it takes to defend our Second Amendment rights and our constitutional rights. And I know that that's an important aspect of what Larry and Brenda Potterfield are trying to accomplish with their wonderful support of this program.